with the Nvidia Shield tablet. Now, one of the first things you'll notice is it's very reminiscent of an Apple iPad mini but with the kind of stylings of the HTC One M8. Now, this area here and here that you see that appears to be a speaker, I don't actually think it is. There's absolutely nothing if you look within the holes that suggests there's any actual speaker mechanics there. The actual speakers, I believe, are in the sides on this device. So effectively here and here. They're not actually directly opposite each other. One speaker is slightly higher to this side, and this side is uh, sort of more towards the centre. Now, in part, this is because of the camera module they've added just there. Now, the actual weight of the tablet is very, very good. It doesn't feel like it's overbalanced in any one corner, and there's certainly not an this is too heavy to hold or anything like that problem going on here. For the most part, the tablet is very, very good to hold in the hands, purely because of this quite nice rubberized back. It's kind of a, a polycarbonate feel. It doesn't feel necessarily like rubber, but it does have a slight texture to it that is almost thin rubber-esque. It feels really good in the hand, and it provides grip, quite a lot of grip. I would put it on the same kind of uh, level as the uh, Nexus 5, really, I think, there, for the way this back kind of feels. It doesn't feel like something like a Galaxy S5 uh, or an S4, and it certainly doesn't have the very shiny, slippery back of the M8. It stays in the hand and it does feel like it wants to stay there, not sliding through or anything like that. Again, if we attempt to do a balance test on this particular tablet, let's see if we can do this. Just change my hand. We should find that we can get a balance point out of it. Just about there, in fact. There we go. So as you can see, it does balance quite nicely without any major problems there. Obviously, big device, it is wobbling around a little tiny bit, but it is balanced, and the balance is towards the center of the device, which is really good to see. Overall, I've really enjoyed using this device. It works beautifully when you're out and about, and it works beautifully when you're at home. It's never too heavy, and it's never throwaway light. It just feels great really really great in the hand and that's something that is a bit of a rarity in tablets i think where you end up with something that's either too top heavy too slippery and so on the hardware wise they've done a fantastic job here there's only one small defect i found which is if you press on one side a little bit too much you actually get a popping sensation there you can probably just about hear that being picked up by the microphone it's sort of just up on this one corner just there in fact you can just feel that the plastic has some give in it. Now, it's a little disappointing to see, but at the end of the day, that's the only physical hardware issue I've been able to find. It's just this slight clickiness within the casing, just on this one side every so often. Um, but it's not a major issue, and it's not led to any wear or tear so far. Whether that is going to be a weak spot within the chassis, time will tell. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, you can pledge $1 a month on Patreon to help support the Androidizen keeping us 100% independent, an honest opinion direct from the UK. If you pledge $1 a month, you'll be entered into our prize pool to win cool items from our review bag. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. We love to chat.